Hello everyone, I'm Dejour Falk, and today I'm proposing my project asking the question, can no reference image quality assessment change how we assess images? I will start by I will start by quickly giving a refresher on some things that I covered in my first presentation, but things that I will believe that are very important for my project. We will start with this image of a sunflower with three different qualities. It might be easy to tell by the human eye that this image gets more distorted from left to right, with the leftmost image being the clearest. There are so many ways you can store an image and change the image quality, such as no noise distortion, blur distortion, and compression artifacts. All of these ways are tested when doing image quality assessment. As you can see with the middle image, there is some blur distortion that is being done to the image. With the image on the right, there is some noise that is being added to the image, which are both things that can be seen with the eye, but when a computer is looking at the image, the assessment can vary. With this, there are two main ways of doing computer vision image quality assessment. To learn about the type of image quality assessment I will be focusing my project on, it's helpful to learn about them both. So to start with full reference image quality assessment, I will lay out a simple scenario that really helps understand what these two image quality assessments mean. Um, imagine you are looking at two of the same photos of yourself, with one photo looking perfect and the other photo has the brightness slightly changed. You can easily tell this because you have the other image to reference. And with this, you can easily see that it is much easier to do full reference uh, image quality assessment because you have the original Im image to reference. So you can obviously see that the other image is changed in some way. So because of this full reference image quality assessment is when a computer vision model can reference your original non-distorted image to compare and score against. But back to the scenario laid out earlier, when working with no reference image quality assessment, there is no reference image, meaning that there is no original image. You are only looking at the image that is changed. Even with the human eye, it would be extremely difficult to tell if the image you are looking at is distorted. And this translates to computer vision models as well. This means that no reference image quality assessment is one of the hardest problems in all of image quality assessment. But there is some very encouraging research that has been done in the field. However, it is very important to know what no reference image quality assessment can and can't be used for. Because I am focusing on image quality assessment, I would like to talk about the research paper that started my focus on this topic. The title being Deep Neural Networks for No Reference and Full Reference Image Quality Assessment by Sebastian Bulls and others. This paper was published in an IEEE journal in 2016, with all the authors including Bulls having published an image quality assessment before. When doing this research, it is also easy to tell that this is a growing field and topic within computer vision. So before going into my proposed project, I wanted to tell you more about the motivation behind my project. My main interest in data science before this course was computer vision models and projects from my previous work through my internship and job. Since we are working with video and image data in this course, this has provided me a great chance to learn more about certain things that I potentially wouldn't have before now. Image quality assessment isn't really something that I thought about before this course, but can, but can provide such, a, such valuable information to know, especially when working with computer vision models, to learn more about how images are classified for training and testing. Being able to combine my interest in computer vision with image quality assessments can provide significant impact to field not even thought about such as medical imaging, surveillance, and multimedia applications. 
this project will also test my skills in project management because it will be a lot of work and research because I am nowhere near the expert in the field right now and I will need to learn many things to have complete and sustainable to have a complete and sustainable project. I'm very excited to bark on this project but also nervous about what a final result may look like. And then the final key motivation that I have is to learn about the latest research in no reference image quality assessment and also to know if there are any things that are being taken into consideration in regard to computer vision such as ethic issues, correct usage, and good knowledge transfer. So to now talk about my proposal, I propose a no reference image quality assessment testing pipeline. This pipeline will be able to do multiple things that all no reference image quality papers and models do all in one place. I believe that this pipeline will be able to see how these models ingest data, train and test data, and also the user will be able to see the results from the models all in one place. A lot of these models test against other models in the field, and being able to see the results can allow for much easier research. This pipeline has a lot of skills, and I don't know if I will be able to accomplish all the lofty expectations I have set out for myself, but this pipeline can provide a great opportunity to do some real hands-on work and will be a great learning experience. So I want to take some time to talk about papers and models that I will be incorporating into my project. These are two papers that I think would be very valuable to learn about, but also trying to implement these into the pipeline would be very challenging but helpful. I'll be researching more papers that particularly have code from the research, and will need to make sure that all the code is able to run by me, and the results will compare to the research that it is from. The paper on the left is titled No Reference Image Quality Assessment via Transformers, Relative Ranking, and Self-Consistency. And the paper on the right titled SERFIQ, Unsupervised Estimation of Face Image Quality Based on Stochastic Embedding Robustness. These two papers are being very helpful in enhancing my learning about image quality assessment and both papers have models that have great documentation to be able to compare against each other. I want to be able to find the best no reference image quality assessment model and be able to display that in a central place as well. I'll be finding around two to three models to incorporate into this pipeline with my main goal being able to compare them against one another in the pipeline with the same data. Speaking of data, these are the image data sets that will be ingested into the pipeline for the testing of these models. These two data sets are also used to be trained on most models that have been put out as research because they are so helpful. So being able to put these into the pipeline would be very great. Moving on to the code and development framework that I will be working with. All my code will be published to GitHub, which will allow for good knowledge management that is essential for a coding project. And I will be doing all my coding in Python. And because these machine learning model, and because these are machine learning model, there will be the use of PyTorch or TensorFlow based on how these models were created and trained. So this is the timeline for my project, with there being about five steps for the complete timeline. The first step is still ongoing. It is to find the right methodologies and papers that of course have corresponding code and will be able to be used within a pipeline. I, I will be using the original paper that I read by Bulls as one model, and there will be around two more models that I will work with. Once this is done, I will need to ingest the image data sets into the pipeline and make sure that the data is in the correct format and able to be used by these models. This is something that will probably take a little bit of time to making sure all the models can read the image data and there isn't any problems with having multiple models in a pipeline. But then after the data is all set up, 
I would need to make sure that the models are set up to run on this data. And also to check to see if the models are potentially pre-trained on the data. And that could save a lot of time because then I wouldn't have to do the training, which with my resources might take a long time. So once all models are set up, I will need to test the models and document and present my results. And hopefully see that the pipeline is working and complete. This will take time and there will be problems along the way. But this is a good general timeline that I will be following for this project, which will take around two months to complete. And then I would now be going into my goals for this project. My main goal for this project is to gain a better understanding of the general landscape around the computer vision industry, specifically regarding image quality assessment. I think that this goal will be achieved, and I believe that this project can really help me learn what I want to do after this course in regards to computer vision. A part of this project that isn't really a part of my pipeline, but it's definitely something that I want to research and more, learn more about, just for my understanding, is hopefully learn more about if there are any ethical issues that have been thought of, that have been thought about in regards to these image quality assessments models. And the authors have thought of ways to solve it, specifically in papers where they are talking about the model. I had this goal because this is something that I haven't been, I haven't seen before, but I want to see where this is being talked about because it is an important part of doing computer vision. And then my final goal of this project is to create a pipeline that is actually functioning, but could also be developed furthermore for a broader audience if I have more time. I really don't want this I really don't want to have this project just die when this course ends. And by, by by developing with that in mind, hopefully I can safeguard this goal. So in conclusion, all the papers I have read have models that they are proposing being tested against other models. But I haven't been able to see a central place to know these results without reading through each paper. I believe that having a place to test models easily while also seeing the results of models in one place could be very helpful to the computer vision industry and that is what I will be trying to achieve with this pipeline. I do know that this project will take a lot of work and these ambitions may be lofty, but I also believe that this project will provide me to have a great experience with multiple parts of com computer vision project. Thank you.